All right, what is going on, guys? We're back with Hogwarts Legacy Episode 10 here. We're going to be getting ourselves a broom today. Um, we also got a couple side quests I want to do here in Hogsmeade. And then after that, we're going to be going and learning Confringo with Sebastian. Um, it's the start of the curse quest line, which I'm not sure if I want to go too deep down that and learn all the unforgivable curses. I haven't decided yet. I might learn them and not use them. I don't know if that's possible if to learn them without using them, but we'll see. So we're also going to get to Findo today. A couple of these other side quests we might do. Definitely want to get a broom. We're going to start this Jay Pippins one. I don't know if we'll do the Summoner Court. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I just want to say thank you guys again for all the support you guys have been giving us on this series. Really appreciate it. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Oh, we got some brooms. Let's just rob him blind real quick. Unidentified neck item. Albie Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have, have the Nimbus around. 2000. Thank you. That's all I want. I know I won't be able to get it. I can get probably the Nimbus what are we 1. For today? Wind Wisp. Moon Trimmer. Hogwarts House Broom. Ember Dash. And the Yew Weaver. That item is of the highest quality. I don't like that one all that much. This is the one I think I see everybody going around on. And all the videos I've seen. That item is of the highest quality. It is the coolest one, isn't it? It is. I gotta get it, right? That item is of the highest quality. You'll be thrilled with that broom. We're getting the one everybody else is getting. Can I sell this? That's actually plus offense. Plus offense. And get rid of the tan cloak. Make nice a little money back. With you. All right, we got ourselves a broom. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Absolutely. Let's get some that upgrades. Sounds intriguing. I don't even need to ask questions. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The yeah, time trial should be a off. bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, let me know. Anything else in here? No, but... Uh. <sighs> Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Quidditch supplies. It's a shame they didn't put it in the game. I probably would have sucked at it, but... Still, still would have... Would have liked to play it at least once or twice. Try it out. Alright, we had a couple other quests over here that I wanted to do. Just at least talk to him. Gotta go over to Jay Pippin's potions.
can't fly here. Sadly. Perry Pippin, coming in. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I actually do I need to do get an invisibility today? potion. So let's just buy the, uh... You have to hold it down like a decision. second longer. Thank you. And the Thunder Brew, I gotta make both of those. Um, I'm also just gonna buy one of each. Hopefully I have enough money. Now that I'm seeing that. Alright, we're good. We're good. I hope to see you again. Farewell we also gotta now. set up the room of requirements so we can start brewing stuff. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. That should be You've easy no on our new broom. idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. You're a sick man. You're a sick man. I'm just kidding. Alright, let's get out of Hogsmeade. Get out of Hogsmeade. We'll hop on our broom and get over there. Sorry, I didn't turn the camera. I was getting a phone call. Just had to Hogsmeade, silence it really quick. Come. Once that no fly symbol goes away, how do I get on my broom is the real question. Revelio. Ah. Oh, wait. Nice. I can't fly? I have to wait until I put the guidebook away. Why can't I fly? I still can't fly. Why can't I fly? Am I not in a clear enough area? If I go back up top. I was able to fly like right here. I can't fly. I'm gonna run back in and run back out. Hopefully that fixes it. No, still can't. What the heck? I'm just gonna go over here and. Accio. Get some more moonstone. I just wanna fly, man, and I can't. I don't know what the deal is. I'm gonna keep checking it. Maybe I gotta just pause and... Definitely has nothing to do with this, but I'm gonna go through it anyways. Let's put this new piece on. Make sure we're all leveled up the right amount. We got the best stuff on possible. It's only one. I'd rather have the gold. I don't know why. It doesn't make any difference, but... At least not right now. Got a couple more potions. We got the Thunder Brew and Invisibility. And that should be it for that. And then brooms, we got one. I 
All right, let's try to fly again. I can't fly. What the heck is going on? We got a beast den. Puff skeins. These things are adorable. I just want to fly. I can't. Not a fast travel there then. Can't fly. You got a fast travel, eh? Let's head over to Amelda really quick. Hit the wrong button. Hogwarts map. I want to fast travel to the beast classroom. It's gonna work now. Works now. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Amelda Rays? Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. No need to be jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Another in Quidditch captain, jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, yeah, okay. now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Slytherin Quidditch must be a bunch of bums. This is rather fun. Now that's more like it! I'm going so fast. I literally just had a slowdown. I was going way too fast for my liking. I got no control Success. right now. She just got destroyed. That wasn't even close. I'm like Jeff Gordon out there. Go cry uh, me a river. That's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine. You won. Yeah, you squib. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't want your Challenge respect. accepted then. 
Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We That'd shall be see. cold. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. All right, let's report back to Albie. I want to fly over there. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. I just want to just fly through the castle area really quick. I do wish the brooms were a little bit quicker right now. Obviously, we're going to get those upgrades. But the flying is pretty nice. My problem, I think, you don't have to hold forward to go. Like, if I just hold my right trigger, I just go. If I hold forward, it doesn't go any faster. I always hold forward, and I think that's why it's harder for me to steer. I think if I just used a normal and then went left or right, I could, like... I can go and weave a lot quicker. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Whoa. Oh, there's a chest. That's nice. Revelio. See if we can't find any of those uh disillusionment <laughs> chests. Looks like one right there. Thank you for that. Revelio. There's another one right there. Another one inside, though. Oh, that's just a regular chest. We really got to get Aloha Mora soon. All these locks, they're really tempting for me to just blast through them. See what's on the other side, but right now we don't know. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Stuttering guys, I'm sorry. Incredible. Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, Hoping the but stuttering goes it away. fed well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the it's left the on scenes. certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Can we? Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? All right, let's see. Let's head over to main quest, I think. Or will you? We'll do Professor Sharp's assignment. We just got to find some enemies. Shouldn't be too hard. Actually, for the enemies, we're just going to head to the Forbidden Forest. It's probably going to... Ooh, excuse me. It's going to be the easiest way to do it. Forbidden Forest. There's Merlin Trial in there we can do really quick. And we can go ahead and learn Confringo and Defindo. And then both of those now? spells should help us out greatly. what I am going to do. I'm going to use one of these right now. 
That does not last very long. Maybe it's because I'm moving. Timing down. Did I just kill a sheep with that too? I hope I didn't kill the sheep. Let's get over there and loot him. I gotta find what, three enemies? No, just against enemies. Is that the thunder, bro? Yeah. Oh, we got boys for sure. You can learn a lot from weather, though, can't you? It's like everything's full told right before you. What? What are you smiling at? Don't you go giving me that look. I'm saying, if it's cloudy, like, you know, it might rain. What? You'll regret this one. Is that yeah. You've made a mistake. Yes. Your little son that saved Slippery little Stupid Stupid You will fall! You'll have to fight eventually! Expelliarmus! Fuck that! Wasn't nothing. What have Stupid. you done? Expelliarmus, Accio, Levioso. No. Your poaching days are over. Got a couple Dark Wizard defeated too. Let's Rebellion. get it. A lot of good stuff just happened right there. Oh, I did pick him up. Anything else here? A couple more little things. I don't know what that is. Is that a cave symbol? Akio. I don't know what would be in there. You can check it out. Why not? Oh lord, I didn't... Oh, that scared me. I got spooked. Let's add Lumos in here really quick. Lumos. This looks intriguing. Revelio. Guess I didn't really need Lumos. What in the world? Okay. We got some galleons, and we got... That wasn't necessarily worth it, but we got some stuff. I would have liked to actually have to dive down and swim through it. But it is what it is. No biggie. No biggie. Alright, let's do this Merlin trial right here. Where'd it go? I know it was just right here. I'm heading right for it. We're good. What? what? 
Expelliarmus. Accio. Let me also. Alright, let's get the Merlin trial going. Just heard some things. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. That's an easy one. Just Akioing. Akio! They all this way? What's that? Settled. It's all of them. That was very simple. Very, very simple. Hoping to get some more bag space from that. I know probably need like five or six more. Find out in a second. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel back over to the castle to Professor Sharp. Then we're going to learn Defendo. Is that where I'm meeting him? Travel to Central Hall. It's the King's Cross Station of Hogswort. Hog I just said Hogswort. I was thinking Hogsmeade. Hogwarts. Or as the homies like to say, Pogwarts. You're into that. Revelio. There was something else too. The heck was a dash that? Of powdered bat spleen, I think. Oh god, that scared me. Have you Whoa, finished your Professor assignments? Sharp. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. I won't, no. sir. Let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. I love that. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Easy. Defindo, mm. baby, let's get it. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on. I'm honestly going to take off um, I can't think of the word Incendio It has not really been doing anything really for me To be honest It's only like super close range I would encourage you once again to practice It's a pleasure to have a student yeah, who actually yeah, yeah, heeds yeah. instruction That's a good spell Let's follow this key really quick Right on down here. Unlock this bad boy. That was horrible reaction time, but it still gave it to me. Take it. We will take it. Alright, now let's go meet Sebastian. We'll go learn Confringo quests. We'll track that one. I ended up turning the minimap on. I don't remember if I said that when I did, but, uh, it does ruin the immersion a little bit. I don't know what that was that keeps going through there. Hoping that we don't lag coming out of here. I don't really like when the frame rates drop for you guys. Sometimes it's just the videos, sometimes it's both me playing and the video. 
All right, and we we'll wait here for Sebastian. And he just appears right in front of Over me. Here. What's up, Sebastian? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I trust Sebastian. This way. It seems like he does bad things for the right reasons. I'm trying to help his sister. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. I mean, is it really? It's a dead end. It's not very quiet either. I'm sure everybody that's in the area just heard that. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Underground. Revelio! We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. Not a spell like Confringo is only to say. truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Easy peasy. I got it down. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? I'm gonna assign that in here with the Findo. This one, it. Yeah. You're at a Levio Stick to there. the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo card. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. That's it! I think I've got it. Easy. Easy as pie. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, 
We singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. The blast does heat things up. <laughs> I see how you lost your eyebrows. <laughs> You'll get used to it. Anne Ominous and I used to practice down here for hours. The Undercroft was our retreat. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. I wanna add this in here instead of Accio. Got a wild little, little thing here. Got some good spells. Should be able to deal a ton of damage with those. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? I'll be honest. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You oh, breathe a, good guy. a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. I thought we were all friends. I'm sorry I didn't mean to throw Sebastian under the bus like that. Sebastian's not going to be too happy about that one after he saved me in the library. 
But if he went down there and saw Sebastian, I guess it really wouldn't have mattered all that much. Alright, we gotta improve our magical abilities for the next one, so we'll uh, end the video here. I'm probably gonna hit the side quest right here uh, in between videos, and then hopefully we can get ourselves leveled up to get to the next main quest. So, thank you guys again for uh, coming out and supporting the videos and supporting the channel. Really appreciate it, and I will see you guys in episode 11. Peace out.